What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. CG Fix here. We're gonna be doing a power steering line, high pressure on this uh, Sorento, 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 Kia. Uh, I'm actually never worked on one of these, so it'll be my first time. And um, But it shouldn't be rocket science. I'm gonna look at the new line that they bought on Amazon, I believe, or eBay. Uh, I'll probably put the link in the bottom. I always say that and I never do. But um, I'm gonna get the line, look at it, and then it should be just one connected to the rack and pinion and one that connects to somewhere in the line somewhere we'll figure it out but i'll show you all the steps in the way how i got it done um and do it at your own risk you know so let's go ahead by starting by i'm gonna put the jack on this side because i already figured out last week where the leak was coming from um it was literally just pissing right out the, the line um it's a rusted line so it's like the metal one then it's rubber and i'll show you everything but without further ado let's get the tools ready let's get right into it and start this video well, first thing you want to do, obviously, uh, put a jack under the car, uh, put a jack seal and all that. Fortunately, I left my jack seal in my other job, so we're going to go right to it. Hopefully, that jack don't fail on me today, and we're going to go right under the car. I'm going to go ahead and point with my flashlight, the line that we're going to be replacing. So, it's the bottom one. You see, there's a rubber one, and there's a metal line. That's the line that we're going to be replacing, because it's leaking somewhere around this area right here. I'm going to take the flashlight out. So, it's leaking somewhere. Um uh on the other side you can't really see it but anyways it's leaking on this side it's just pissing right out so this line is all rotted out uh we're gonna go ahead and i'm probably gonna end up cutting it um and then putting a socket in there instead of putting a you know a wrench um you could put a wrench in there but i'd rather just cut it um with a, with a dremel or a, a grinder however you know whatever you can fit in there and then you basically want to follow the line all the way all the way up as you can see that line right where i'm pointing the first light i'm gonna take the first light out so you can see um see that metal uh let me get closer right there you see that line that has that metal thing around it see that one right there where i'm shining at so you're gonna follow it all the way up and then there's a bolt i think it's a 22 i believe that holds it up top and that's pretty much it so it goes from metal to rubber um and that's what we're gonna be replacing so it looks like there's a bracket there too um let me see so i can get, get you an angle real quick all right there is a bracket right there uh right there i believe it has a 10 millimeter um and that should be the only thing holding it um in place um yep only thing holding it in place that i see and then the easiest way to go about it like i said we're just gonna cut with a dremel put a socket in there and then remove it i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera a little bit closer so there we go so right there we're gonna go ahead and cut the line i say about i don't know somewhere right here on the side cut it put a socket in there remove it and i believe that's probably a 17 and then the one up top the goals if you follow this line this line right here it should be maybe a 22 maybe and then a 10 millimeter that holds that bracket if you follow that line it goes all the way to the power steering pump and you see that nut right there all right let me put the first light on it come on focus focus all right you see that nut right there so you see that line right the metal line then it goes into rubber that's the line we're replacing it goes right into the power steering pump so that should be i don't know maybe a 22 21 we'll figure it out and i believe there is another 10 millimeter bracket if you follow the line um let me see up top yeah i believe there's another one up there um I'll try to get an angle for you, but basically what you want to do is just follow that line and basically take everything out the way and, you know, remove it. I'm looking, you see that heat shield right there? I'm going to end up bending it just a little bit because to take it off, I'm going to end up, it's going to end up breaking like the bolts on it. There's no point of, um, you know, trying to take the bolts off the heat shield, but you are going to have to push up on the heat shield or bend it up with a, with a you know, something plier or something. Um and to be able to take that bolt that's holding that bracket in place so i'm gonna go ahead and get the tools ready and show you how i got it done to verify that is a 17 uh fitting on there the bolt that goes to the power steering pump um it's um using a 15 16 uh this fits perfectly right in there and this small socket it's actually the perfect size for there um so you can put your ratchet in there i got a long extension that extends out and it gives me leverage so I'm gonna show you the setup I'm gonna use to remove that bolt. The tools I'm gonna be using to cut that line will be a Dremel. Any type of Dremel will work. I'm gonna put, also you probably use this one just in case um, 
you know, just get because this fits more in places, it's smaller. I'm gonna use this ratchet with um as an extension so I can have more of a leverage to be able to, you know, put some manpower fly ahead. And then I'll pry bar just in case I'm gonna pry some of that um uh, heat shield that's on there. And then you know the socket that I put over there, um, which I was I think it was a 15 16th, I believe. I'll check again. And then again, if you don't have a uh, Dremel, you could use a 17, but it's just a tight spot. You might need a small, uh, short 17 to uh, get in there, you know, so you don't take the other line out, the top one. Because then if you have a long 17, then it will just be in the way from you to, you know, really get that torque to loosen it up. I don't know. To me, it'll, it just makes sense to me and to make it easier for myself just to put a 17 socket, uh, which I got to go ahead and look for it now. Uh, 17 socket. Anyways, I'm gonna look for 17 sockets. Uh, let's see if it's this one. Nope, 16. Anyways, 17 socket. Put it in there. Loosen it up. And ready to go to take it out. Why not? I'm gonna have different types of ratchets just in case. I, li I like this one because this one fits in a lot of places and it has for the small and then the medium size, you know, sockets. And then this one just in case. And again, the long one just in case. And then I do like this multiple tool one. I do have another one that has a 10 because you will need a 10. I believe those bolts that hold in that bracket is a 10 or it could be a screw. We'll, we'll find out once I get down there. Um, again, I never done this car. Um, so we're just kind of learning on the way. And I'll show you exactly how I got it done. I'm going to keep repeating myself. And we still haven't got to the actual job job. But anyways, um, I'm going to get down there and start working and then show you everything I did to get this line removed want to use for those fittings it's kind of a tool like this a wrench like this because it kind of cups it in there you know you put it through the line um this is a 15 unfortunately uh hopefully i find the other piece which was a 17 on the other side and that'll be perfect because then i could just use that and put some manpower and just loosen it up we'll see because i'm also trying to see if i can find uh one that just fits in there perfectly and then i could just you know loosen it up and i don't gotta cut the line and i believe a 5 8 might fit it looks dissimilar we'll find out let's see it looks somewhat the same we'll figure it out i'm gonna take a few of these small ones to see if um it fits and if i can just loosen it up then we don't need to use the dremel and then you can do it too there's a real tight spot where the heat shield is and where that bracket is right there i'm trying to focus real quick uh it is a real tight spot so i'm gonna pry up with a pry bar and then there, there's a 10 millimeter bolt holding in that bracket so um fortunately i won't be able to record this at the same time so i'll just show you after i remove it Oh, the Dremel fits perfectly in there. Um, so again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right there. Fits perfectly. And once I cut it, I can put the deep socket 17 and then use the socket instead of a ratchet. And plus, like again, there's not a lot of room to play with. And if you wanna get it done without having to take that line out up top, I tried already multiple wrenches and it's it being a pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna cut it. It's the easiest way to do it. Try to record at the same time and cut this. Let's see if you have any luck. Yeah, I'm not. You're gonna need both hands for this. But you get the idea. You get the idea. So as you can see, I cut the line. Now it's out of the way. Now you can put a deep socket 17 in there. And you, know, you don't gotta worry about stripping or nothing. And then I'll show you after once I take it out what it looks like. And <laughs> so the idea didn't work. You wanna know why? Because the 17 D socket, no matter what 17 you put in there, this line is in the way. This line, the top rubber line is in the way. So what we're gonna do is, ah, man. So we're gonna have to take a 17 ratchet, you can see there, I already broke it loose. Um, you're gonna break that loose one up top, remove it out the way, and then that will definitely give you the leverage and the strength to be able to take the bottom one with the 17 wrench. Happened, that's perfect. Now I can fit the 17 that's awesome so look that just happened to happen so i went to loosen it up and then the whole thing just spun together and then i'm like oh okay now i can put the 17 so this worked for me hopefully it works for you and you don't even gotta take out that line now so all right let's go ahead and put the 17 socket in there and put the ratchet in there probably with an extension that goes out probably this much so you have more room to you know ratchet but hey i never done one of these cars before so you're learning just like me right now how to do this line um but if you got all the tools you'll be good that's what that setup looks like i broke it loose and now we're just removing what's left of it which is the fitting and the line that i cut but hey whatever works works right so luckily oh i almost hit myself with the freaking tool there all right so as you can see it's removed this is the fitting with the um, lines broken 
they almost hit myself with that tool anyways so yeah we're just gonna go ahead after we put the this line down here um we're gonna go ahead and just uh hopefully i'm able to tighten it with this line being in there well let's see we should if not i'm just gonna cut a 17 one of the 17 wrenches and cut it in half with the dremel so i could i could just invent the tool you know and make it fit there so so I, just so i don't have to take this line out because this whole line is moving with that and this line is still good and i don't want to go ahead and mess with that and then i have to do a whole nother job so uh let's keep on going you can see exactly where this line broke right where this line broke that's exactly where it was leaking from right where it broke so uh we're gonna go ahead and just take this and just throw it out there whatever and then you're gonna go ahead and keep following this line like i said um that bracket right there is gonna be a pain in the butt i'm probably gonna end up oh it's already breaking actually i'm actually just gonna move this out the way like this pry it that way it's already breaking anyways yep look it's already broken where it holds so i already got look i don't even need to take the bracket out now uh actually has like a little clip thing i'm gonna show you once i take it out outside as you can see there's a little clip thing i don't know if you can see it from there but i'll show you better outside and it should slid right off because this thing is all rusted in there so there we go as you can see it's wobbly now we're going to work towards the top bracket and then we're going to work towards the uh the bolt that holds um on the parts steering pump the setup i got i got an extension with the ratchet here and then the 15 16 and i already broke it loose and as you can see it's already coming out that's the bolt that holds in the top of the line and then after that it's just one more bracket with a 10 millimeter that is it that's the bolt right here and again i used the 15 16th and what i used was that ratchet with an extension adapter that goes into the half inch so, um, socket here and it's a pretty long bolt i'm actually just gonna leave it that the way it is and then put it back in the same way so i'm gonna leave it just like that oh there you go it came out and then you you reuse the same one unless the new line brought the new one so if you follow this line right here you can see right there there's a bracket with a 10 millimeter that should be the last bracket holding this line in place and after that you just pull it out and then you're ready to go all right so i'm gonna go ahead and use this 10 little ratchet looking tool um however you get it in there just you know lefty loosey righty tidy i already broke it loose and i think i already broke it loose enough to be able to do it with just my fingers let's see oh i lied anyways get yourself a 10 millimeter socket or a ratchet something like this and get that um uh bracket out once you loosen it you can go ahead and just finger kind of finger it out well, that sounded wrong but you know you know what you mean you know what i mean and go ahead and don't lose that because you're gonna need it to put it back and this line should be ready to come out let's see oh uh -huh. boom 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 and just like that the line is out you can see this is the new line and now that you can see the line you can actually see everything that i was doing so the only bracket holding it in place is this 10 millimeter you got this bracket here which is brand new that's good that 10 millimeter goes there then you go over here and then that's that 15 16 whatever i used there that showed on earlier and then you got as well we got gaskets so um we got gaskets to put in these are our washers that go probably on one here one on the other side uh this small gasket uh so one of the washers goes on one side here you can see like that and then the other washer goes on the other side so you got two brand new washers two brand new washers and that little little gasket here goes on the tip of this right here so i'll show you what it looks like after it's put on and that's pretty much it i mean you basically just breathe or reverse order everything i just did uh you kind of want to just line up the line the way it goes so it goes exactly like that um put it go ahead and put that 10 millimeter bracket up top um bolt there and then go ahead and screw on that but remember don't forget to put the washer on the pump itself or like you know on the other side of here so we're gonna go ahead and put it there and then we're gonna put the other washer on this side and then um gasket over there and bolt everything back up 10 millimeter there and that's it but if you enjoy anything um during this video uh go ahead and make sure you give it a like it helps the channel a lot and hopefully we'll be in better places i am looking towards hopefully this channel grows uh getting a bigger van a work truck that i can put a compressor in i can have my tools like have like a you know kind of a wall tool here tool here toolboxes kind of you know so hopefully we're in better places in the future uh, but we do work what we got and i do the best i can to explain and basically go step by step and kind of just get it done you know we don't talk too much on my videos we really don't talk too much we kind of just get things done show you the tools and show you how to get the job done again your boy cd fix thank you for watching make sure you subscribe like share the video again it helps turn the video out and it helps the channel you know so um i'll see you guys in the next video much love your boy cg fix peace hey baby that's how you put a new power steering line no leaks 
the only issue is I did tell the customer the pump is going. Um, so that's another one for the next video.